What's up? So, uh, I literally was watching this, and I, like, he was, like, talking about, Tectone here was talking about, like, Cookie Run, <laughs> some shit. 50-50, oh my god, right, you pull, the clouds open up, a fucking god, a god comes out and just, imagine you're free to play, and you got 10 pulls left, and it's just- Dude, I'll be real, I actually like this idea. Do I have any issue with the summon animation right now? Not, not really. Not really. However, you know what game has an incredible this gotcha shit. summoning system? Oh my god. Look at this animation. Cookie Run Kingdom. Two guys pop up. A witch comes out. Kawaii. Love in the mix. Throw a dough. Roll it out. God comes. Cookie stamp. You slam it. Breaks the ground. Sparkles, and you're in space! Space cookie, close the oven! Open up and cookie time, baby! It's cookie time! Space cookie comes out of the oven! Do I was like, oh my, option. the ocean is forever? Ocean is forever. What? I was like, oh, what? You're in the sea. Oh my god. Why am I here? You see this beautiful oh. cookie maiden, but she's cracking. Once frozen is now liquid, and you summon the god of the sea. Sea fairy. I must have it. <laughs> I don't even play this cookie game, but I must have it. Run kingdom. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't probably not, but if I do, you know what I'm going for. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm getting ready to open this shit now. It's my phone stuff. Okay, visor needs to be on. Okay. God, what's up with the sound? Oh my god. What the fuck's up with the sound? Oh my god. So I'm just playing this for a little bit because uh, I have to do my dailies before I do the other game. Cause I've been playing this for a long time already, way before I started the other one. What's up with that sound though? Jesus. What the fuck is this? Anyway, as you can see, of course, of course, I have all the water shit, bitch. Like, literally just all water. All water shit. Anyway, let me get this shit done as fast as possible. It won't be that long. Ooh. 
I wonder, is this sound because of the wire I'm using or what? Like, does this sound perfectly fine? Yeah, so it's just the game is freaking out with the with visor, I guess. Jesus. So just ignore the sound for now, I guess. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. And everything you're hearing, I hear. So I hear all this weird electrical shit. And I gotta play this because my husband is still playing this, so I have to do all my dailies and shit. Oh god, fuck this weapon. Who the fuck? Lloyd? Who the hell's Lloyd? Oh, this shit. Oh, now they just added that as a permanent thing? Some flying bitch coming over? Oh my god, let me click on it. Bitch! Let me click on your shit! God. Okay. We got this already? Yeah, we did. Go away. Okay, dungeon. Let's finish this real quick. I'm almost done. I, I usually do this in the morning, but it had maintenance. So I have to do this like now. Let's see. Now we have... Arena, log into that real quick. Get my random points. Expedition, get my two things. Log into this shit. Girl! Now you know that game sucks. So anyway. <laughs> it crashed! Are you serious? Oh my god, there's an update. Wait a minute. Okay, okay. Okay, because this is also going to update... I will just turn off the vision for a second so I can, like, not fucking reveal 50 million random things. Okay. And I can go back to that game. Because, of course, this should just be showing everything on my phone, so... We currently are just doing this, waiting for this to finish. And we probably got a lot we can do today in love and deep space. Okay, let's go back to the other shit now. But yeah, so this game that I'm playing, freaking this shit, is kind of a, uh, you know, bootlegged ass, you know, not AAA mobile game. <laughs> 
They've been working on it for a while. Okay, let's do this again. Because usually my streams last longer than the daily comes up, so I have to like do this now. Okay, fuck off, alright. Now we're gonna just auto do this shit. I think that's all the dailies done, hopefully. Yes. Boom. I do all the dailies and then I just go straight to the thing. Okay, we're done. Okay, we're done. Get the fuck out of that. Alright. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wish... Oh, I wish this could be a wireless... iOS sucks ass. I hate iOS so much. It, this could just be wireless. Because right now, my old wire, which is really long... Oh, my really long wire is broken. So I'm using this short wire... And I have to, like, be close to my computer right now. The mobile game. <laughs> yes, after this game, we're gonna play Ark. So we're gonna show Brandon Ark. It's so funny the sound difference between the two games. <laughs> yes, the one that I raise dinosaurs in and breed them and stuff. You don't look very energetic today. Is it just me or did you not get enough sleep? <laughs> All right, what we got here? Oh, that's some free diamonds. I love it. Yes, give me more. I'm so close to getting the five star. You know what I mean? Like right here. Look at how close. I just need 10 pulls. That means I need 600 diamonds and then I can get my five star. And it better be Raphael for real. Romantic theater calling Raphael. Yeah, I remember Bobette. Bobette, no one, two, three, four, five, six. I used to stream a lot of ARC, and Cloudier was there for those streams. So if you need information on ARC, he can tell you. Beep, beep, the signal is good. Why is this Little Mermaid play you brought me to see? different from the versions I saw before. Did you infiltrate the troop and force them to change the script? How do you know I changed it? Because the prince fell in love with the little mermaid as soon as he ate the seafood banquet she made. <laughs> and all the dishes she cooked are your signature dishes. 
That just proves my signature dishes are excellent quality and highly presentable. I'm kind of hungry now. What a coincidence. I've been itching to cook. Oh god, so he's just eating all the time? Alright. Now we're gonna just rush through these two. Okay. And then we're gonna go... Okay. We're done with that. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh. Ooh, yes, I need all the diamonds I can get, bitch. One new message. You sure have a lot of friends. These are only a few of my favorite acquaintances. I'm quite popular, you know. Okay. Okay. Let's just do all the battle things real quick. One of these. One of these. The fuck, go away. Oh, we still gotta do this hunter contest bullshit. I haven't even tried that yet. Oh yeah, I gotta level this shit up. My new five star. Oh yeah, by the way, oh my god, I didn't even, I didn't show you any of this because I got this five star and I put these proto cores on it. Look, so I got purple ones and look at the attack bonus percent twice. And then for the other one, where is it? This one I have two purples on. Attack percent, crit damage percent. Attack percent, attack percent. These are pretty good. Like, I'm, I wonder how powerful I'm going to be after upgrading all this shit. Oh my god, I, I don't even have enough of these anymore. Damn. I guess I'll beat his ass. forever can we throw it into the garbage we need to defeat it first leave me alone is this how leave people me make ice lemon tea come over here idiot i hit myself with my own acid darn it oh too bad go back to the pit you came from i'll show you He recovered so fast. Oh. Leave me alone. Distance can make. I hit myself with my own acid. Darn it. You reap what you sow. Hit it already. Did you spot its weakness? Where is it hiding? It can't hide from us. Oh, man. 
It recovered so fast. Hmm. Leave me alone. Distance can make. I hit myself with my own acid. Darn it. You reach with that done. My inspiration is raring to go. Okay, good. A flame within a painting burns forever. <laughs> Here it comes. Let's do this. Leave me alone. Distance can make. I hit myself with my own acid. Darn it. Aw, too bad. <gasps> Raphael. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Good job. Eat this. Oh, man. You recovered so fast. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. <gasps> Raphael. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Good job. Yeah. Don't be deceived, oh, man. You recovered so fast. The fact that I gotta wait so long, too. Leave me alone. Distance can make. I hit myself oh, with my own. You. My fleeting inspiration. Let's seize this chance. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Raphael. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I hear Do I even have enough time? He Good takes job. so long to attack. Did you spot its weakness? Oh man. He recovered. He so takes fast. so long to attack. What the fuck? Just attack, bitch. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. I literally don't have Go enough time because he I takes so long. That's your wish. Don't be deceived. Oh man. Yeah, wow, okay. There's no point in doing this one. Alright. So fast. So I just I need more damage to do that. Oh. I'm just gonna farm the other one then. Okay, so this is what I was trying to do, right? Oh god, now I need to upgrade this bitch. Lord have mercy. I don't even, like, what? Now I'm starting to run out of energy. Honestly, I should still be able to do this. This is the grinding time now. It's about time I get some <laughs> exercise. <laughs> Here it comes. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. 
stay alert. Go back to the pit you came from. Just a scratch. I'll be fine. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Here's our chance. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Good job. Don't be deceived. Oh, man. You recovered so fast. I'm getting the hang of this. You want to use your ultimate on us? Too bad. I'll show you. Back up. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Here's our chance. My turn. You were too close to it. It's almost this is all too easy. Okay. Not even a Oops. What the fuck? Did I just do it again? I need to leave. <laughs> okay, good. What are you watching? You're watching a dating sim for girls game that has combat in it. <laughs> this is for the gamer girls. Okay, good. We maxed this out. There we go. We are now able to continue the damn story. And it's probably going to be Raphael time. I can start buying this shit. That'd be nice. Buying, like, these ascension crystal things. Because I'm running out of stuff. Okay, anyway. Let's go to the story. Wait, wait, wait. Let me check. I need four. I need 350 diamonds, and then I could wish this finally and get the five star. Legendary Lumiere. Okay. On the day after returning to Lincoln City, I went through the application process to assess all available databases in the association. However, the word Anikinus was... Sorry. No relevant data entries can be found. Please use another database and try again. How? It didn't seem like a secret since Captain Jenna mentioned them before. Are there hidden search results? I try again and type N109 zone. 51 relevant data entries found. Okay. The N109 zone, once a hub for technological advancement, was destroyed during the disaster 14 years ago. It became a wasteland. A proto field has engulfed the no hunt zone, isolating it from the outside world. Wanderers and fog act as a natural barrier, rendering this area free from the government's and the association's jurisdiction. Over time, countless misfits and exiles risked their lives to enter the N109 zone. Various factions now exist in an area where violence and crime are the norm. The N109 zone is now a lawless place where morality is unheard of. Okay. So it's just a pirate haven. What the fuck? Did this did this shit just freeze? <laughs> Why is it just Oh, I'm like what the fuck? Text continues to appear on the screen as I quickly skim. My disappointment only grows. All of this is vague information. I won't find any leads. Okay, can we get to the can we get to Raphael? I sigh and end my search, suddenly Tara's face appears in front of me. Hey! So how is Snowcrest? Did you have fun? Hera, 
I grabbed the souvenir I brought back. The aurora, the aurora was amazing. The mountains were beautiful, and there was this. You actually remembered. She happily accepts the souvenir and then leans in. I noticed you were looking into the N one o nine zone. Got a new mission already? That's a place even veteran hunters won't touch. Shouldn't Captain Jenna be extra prepared before heading in? The fewer people involved with Onikinus and District N one o nine, the better. I hesitate for a moment, then beat around the bush. I was just curious. Even if Captain Jenna gave me the mission in person, I wouldn't accept it. Ha 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 ha. But I heard the people in the N109 zone are too busy cleaning up their own mess. They won't be causing trouble anytime soon. What do you mean? About a month ago, not long after our last mission ended, there was quite a spectacle in the N109 zone. Numerous deals were being made on the black market. A whole bunch of protocols were all cleaned out without a trace. And you know how the black market runs. Weapon augmentations, human experiments, medical research. They rely on protocols. Who did it? No one knows. But according to the rumors... It's Lumiere. A chair slides into the space between Terra and me. Nero? When did you get in here? Lumiere? Yeah. Aside from him, nobody can just go in and out of the N109 zone. He pushes up his glasses, a glint of excitement flashing in his eyes. D don't you know who he is? He's a mysterious hunter who appeared during the disaster 14 years ago. He was the first person to successfully kill a wanderer. Wait, so wanderers came 14 years ago? The wanderer was really stunning. I mean, formidable. It, hmm? It's known as a... Stunning. I know Lumiere, and it's possible we met before. Although my memory is a bit fuzzy, I still remember that rusty red rain. I could only see the shadow of a wanderer, but then a beam of light saved me. Still, I have no idea who protected me. A beam of light? A beam of light? Hmm. To me, that sounds like somebody. But Lumiere hasn't shown up in ages. He's just an urban legend now. To enter the N109 zone just for protocols? Are you sure it's him? 99.9% .9 sure. I heard that after he left the black market, he was on one of N109 zone skyscrapers, destroying <laughs> protocols like he was setting off fireworks. Destroying protocols and lights? That just sounds like... That. So is Lumiere just Xavier? What's happening? Only he would be bold enough to provoke everyone in the N109 zone. Please don't tell me we're going to see Xavier instead of Raphael. Destroying protocols, it almost reminds me of. It sucks that Lumiere's <laughs> whereabouts are always shrouded in mystery. If we found him, wouldn't places like the N109 zone be under our control? To find Lumiere. Tara's lighthearted jokes. Joke gives me an idea. Legendary. Legendary conch. Dear passengers, this is the last train heading to the Lincoln Botanical Garden for the Lincolnpedia? If you wish to visit the Lincoln Botanical Garden, please board the His train. evil is light. Thought to be in his twenty to forties. His whereabouts are unknown. It makes sense. Oh god. It's hard to find someone after they disappear for years. Come on, Raphael. No. Oh. Xavier? Of course it's Xavier. Come on now. Are you serious? It's hard to find Lumiere when he's right in front of me. Like, that's crazy. Oh no. Oh, no. <sighs> that was close. You. Don't get the wrong idea. I just... <clears throat> I'm sorry. Oh god, help me, Jesus. Oh my god, why? We literally went from Xavier to Zane, and now Xavier again? This is the last train of the huh. day. Passengers who wish to now depart... That I why am I, like, I haven't seen being Xavier screwed? Over a month. I went, have I seen a Raphael have in over a then. year? Like, what's happening? Is there something outside? Uh, no. 
I never thought I'd bump into you on the subway. Same. Now I'm worried about what will happen next. Hmm. Please don't say we're about to find ourselves in some crisis. You won't, right? Sorry, but there is a crisis. I'm really hungry, and all the stores are closed. I know, right? Maybe it's because wanderers have been more active lately. Anyway, why are you just going home now? I was thinking about stuff, got distracted, and missed a bunch of trains. Try not to ponder while in dangerous places next time. What? Wait, this train isn't going to eat me alive, is it? Haven't you heard of the urban legend? Oh my god. After midnight, an empty train will appear. Anyone unlucky enough to ride it will be dragged into the depths of the abyss. Uh-huh. Mm. It will be midnight in 30 seconds. If we don't get off here, we'll be trapped in the abyss. <laughs> Another ghost story? Do you like telling ghost stories? I take this train all the time. I've never encountered anything out of the ordinary. If something strange does happen, I hope you still have the guts. <laughs> the way he likes Speaking horror which, stories. Why does it feel like we've been on this train for a while? We should have reached the next stop by now. This is West Garden Station. Doors West Garden Station. Well, that can't be right. They boarded the train here. <laughs> Oh no. Something's off, Xavier. Let's get out here and. Don't. <sighs> if you get off the train, you'll be stuck with no way out. Oh my god. That can't be because of a ghost, right? No. It's, it's a wanderer. Not a ghost. It's a wanderer. Watch out. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Loop of mirrors. Not a ghost. It's a wanderer. Watch out. Oh, here we go. Final Fantasy main character fighting again. Savior, the wanderer is hiding in the glass. Not that side. Oh no. You okay? I'm fine. I'm not hurt. My imagination? Again with the West Garden Station. This train is stuck in a loop. A piece of mirror. The train is trapped within an invisible mirror. That wanderer can travel between glass and mirrors. Find it, otherwise the train will keep going in circles forever. But there are so many windows. How did this just happen? Like, what the fuck? We just... Oh. Oh my god. We we just in an anime right now. Will I get what I want this time? Light, shine down upon me. Here I come. Uh oh. Savior. I'm here. Savior. I'm okay. Oh, bitch. Let's take it down first. It's time. Here. The enemies are weak. Now's our chance. You won't escape. I am not afraid. Recovered already? How tiresome. It's time. Here we go. Pay attention to its moves. Pay attention to its movements. Be careful not to get hit. I'll show you. It's time. Here the enemies are weak. Now's our chance. Light, shine down upon me. Here I come. It's time to end. Let's move. I won't lose to you. Oh my god. I am watch out. It's getting back up. It's time. Here we 
Step back. Time to get get behind me. Oh, he blocked. End it. Savior. I'm here. I'll show you. It's time. Here. The enemies are done. Everything went well. Okay. Okay, good. I'm trying to get as many crystals as possible. Falling asleep again. Dear Pazuzu, Is the flux nexus related to the appearance of Test Hadley Polka? Oh, all the windows are broken. We look forward to seeing you again. Hmm? It's just that I wanted us to look for it carefully. I didn't expect you to. <laughs> what can I say? I was exhausted. But yeah, it wasn't a good plan. It's okay. I also feel responsible. We'll bear the consequences together. Uh, Xavier? What is he sleeping again? He can fall asleep <laughs> while standing up? Fighting while exhausted and hungry? You're the most dedicated hunter I've seen. It was on the way. I didn't expect to be so exhausted. It was killed by Lumiere 14 years ago, and no others have appeared since. Lumiere? His name keeps showing up. Hmm. Hmm. Lumiere? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The database says Tezcatlipoca was a troublesome wanderer that appeared 14 years ago. Lumiere was the one who killed it. And this time, when it appeared, you, you killed it. Xavier, you're not Lumiere, right? He appeared 14 years ago. Should be in his 40s by now. Mm. And rumor has it that he's a Tenebrae now. You shouldn't believe everything you hear, especially when someone like him is involved. And I was kidding. You can't be him. You don't look like You're a fucking like alien him. wanderer, okay? Why do you need to meet him? I wouldn't say that. I'm just trying my luck. This guy is definitely not human. Because Lumiere just appeared out of nowhere 14 years ago when the Wanderers appeared. Like, come on. Only one to walk out of the N109 zone unscathed. Wiped out three important factions in the N109 zone overnight. <laughs> you believe that? I'm just curious. If he can waltz into a dangerous place like the N109 zone and leave without a scratch, he must know a lot. Even if he's in the know, he might not remember much if he has a bad memory. But the more important thing here is, are you interested in him or the N109 zone? Hmm. I'm... Did you forget what Captain Jenna said? If we want to investigate the modified protocol, we need to look into Anakinus and the N109 zone. The mission doesn't require you to go there. I wasn't planning to. I thought I'd take a quick peek. That's going there. Really? I'm well aware it's an area you can't just visit because you feel like it. It's a dangerous place. One mistake and you forfeit your life if you really want to go. Then you either have to have strength or you have to blend in. Care to explain? It's like a melting pot. Everyone knows where people's loyalties lie, so they only acknowledge their allies. If you can't use brute force, blending in is the easiest way. But it's also quite the challenge. 
How do you know all this? This stuff isn't top secret. One just needs to dig a little. Yet, no one said anything about it to me before. That's enough gossiping for today. This is my house. You should head home too. The sooner the better. Um... Actually... I live here. In this building. Oh my god, really? They live in the same building? Never would have expected this. Savior lives on the floor above me. Oh my god. It's not surprising. A lot of hunters live around here. But the fact that we're only separated by a floor is... What, is he in the apartment above me? Actually, I moved in over six months ago. So that makes you more suspicious compared to me. Oh my god. Okay, but you know an awful lot about the N109 zone. Are you sure you're not the suspicious one here? Well, what about you? Huh? Is your interest in the N109 zone only related to the modified protocol? I... Okay, yeah, I do want to go. There's something I need to do there. Could you give me some more info? If it's not too much trouble, of course. <laughs> Is that a yes, or...? If you're so curious, we can meet up tomorrow. Really? It's no problem as long as I get a good night's sleep. <laughs> I thought you'd be wide awake right now. Great. Well, thanks in advance. Good night. Tomorrow then. Oh god. Oh shit. Really? My fucking mouse falls. Ah. <sighs> okay. Outside, a flock of birds flies over the apartment like a cloud of ink spilling onto the sky. It's 11 a.m. now. Xavier should already be awake, right? Word that he isn't, I pace back and forth for another hour, then I, f then I, feeling antsy, immediately head upstairs. Even when I'm outside Unit 602, I can't, still can't believe Xavier is basically my neighbor. You're here early. <sighs> Xavier yawns, looking almost harmless in his simple white sweater. Orange juice, coffee, or water? Huh? Are you thirsty? He takes two matching mugs from the cabinet and heads into the kitchen. It seems like he just woke up. His hair is disheveled, strands sticking out from the back of his head. Water is fine. Ice or no ice? It's okay, Xavier. I'm here because my, my place, place is, is a bit of a mess. <laughs> you can sit anywhere, though. Do you want some breakfast? Fried eggs and toast. Oh, I'm out of eggs. Are sausages okay? Sausages. Mm. Interesting. Thank you, but I'm not hungry. Also, is it almost noon? I scoot to the edge of the couch, eager to get down to business. I spent all night thinking that that you and Lumiere are definitely connected. Ever since we met, you've been constantly looking for something. You just destroy protocols as if they're nothing when hunters know how important they are. You can kill a wanderer that even a group of hunters would struggle against. Not to mention the gossip you heard about N109 Zone is more in-depth than the info in the association's databases. At the abandoned research base, 
and in no hunt zone number seven, maybe your goals align with mine as well as Anakinus's. Xavier looks at me quietly and flashes a faint smile. So, are you here to confirm my connection to Lumiere? Or are you here for something in the N109 zone? It doesn't matter, I'm just gathering information in a round roundabout way. I'd really appreciate if you could give me some ideas. Xavier lowers his gaze, seemingly lost in thought as he stares at his slippers, then he breaks the silence with a question. The protocore we found in the no hunt zone had a red protocurve. Do you know why? The air seems to freeze for a moment. I feel like I've grasped the unspoken meaning behind his words. He'll only reveal his cards when he's certain I'm on the same page as him. I take a deep breath and say, It's an ether core, right? Highest level access. Hearing the words ether core, Xavier's eyes widen, a hint of indiscernible emotion appearing. Yet he soon returns to being nonchalant. Yes. The modified protocores in the abandoned research base and no hunt zone number seven possess energy derived from an ether core. How can the Hunters Association not be aware of them? He thinks for a moment before shaking his head. They aren't for now. The Hunters Association only knows it holds powerful energy, but they don't have the means to analyze it. They won't be making any progress on that front for a while. Why didn't you tell them? You didn't tell them either, right? He is so, like, he's whispering constantly. It's so funny. He remains calm as he avoids answering my questions. Everyone has secrets and their reasons for doing things. Regardless, I won't be your enemy. And it appears you have more secrets than me. He's literally ASMR. Nervous, I avert my gaze. The reason you want to investigate the N109 zone is because of your family. Am I wrong? You also heard about it. I take a deep breath and look into his eyes. The secrets surrounding the Ether Core can explain what happened to me and them. But since we both want to look into this, even if you aren't my enemy now, you might be later. Distressed, Xavier furrows his brow. I silently apologize to him in my heart. Suddenly he grabs my arm and the user interface for the Hunter's Watch appears. Xavier has requested to synchronize access privileges. Accept. <laughs> Before I can react, he accepts the request on my watch. Synchronizing access privileges. Please wait. Synchronization complete. Your current access privileges level. are at the highest level. You can use the best training grounds available. Use the S-Rank database. And request weapons from Armory 0001 through 0005. I'm stunned. With an air of serenity, Xavier smiles at me. Now do you trust me? You gave me access privilege just like that? You should have thought about it some more. They expire in 24 hours. Oh, what the fuck? You have 23 hours and 59 minutes remaining. Uh... I quickly stand up and get ready to leave. I take a few steps before turning around. Thank you. You're welcome. Nothing in this world can be fully explained. Still, I hope you find out the truth. Leaning against the bookshelf, he waves. As soon as I reach the door, a strange scent catches my attention. I turn around again. Did you Did forget, you forget something? Hmm. Str a scent? What's that smell, Xavier? I smelled it when I was a hmm. child. Hmm. Something is burning. You must have left the oven on. Oops. Really, bitch? Why would you say that? Fuck you. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure that, like, all this stuff is, like, it's gonna be the end of the story now, and then they're gonna make me level up again. 
How much crystals do I have? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get enough crystals today. Tomorrow is going to be the last day. Tomorrow I need to get the last bit of crystals. Alright, I'm switching to... What you call it now? Arc now, so get ready. Oh, now I can freaking... I can lay back and not worry about... Not worry about having to charge my phone or anything. Oh, by the way, I have a uh, a stream starting soon. Raised by the savages, know you couldn't handle this. Everyone who battled me, they fallen like an avalanche. Got them falling back to back. Take. I, I have a, I have a, a screen for ASA stuff. So, like, if I show you this thing. This plays and it's like, duh, 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 you know? This is what I had before when I used to play art. The memories. Oh, look who's here immediately. Okay, here we go. He was here the whole time. It's so loud, though. Is Ark super loud right now? Okay. Now, I don't remember, like, I, I opened this up to see if, like, the game will run f well or whatever the hell. And, like, I don't remember exactly what I was doing. I think I was supposed to be, like, building a base next to the mountain. I just kind of, like, stopped playing. Do you remember the last thing I was supposed to do? I think it was just building a base next to the mountain. This is my army of. This is my army of little uh, crocodile things. Let me see if I can like fix these freaking graphics real quick. We're on low right now. We're literally on low. My god. I have a bird, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Oh god. Yeah, I have everything on low and it's still fucking crazy.
Okay, it's a little bit better now. Okay. So yeah, you see I can ride on these things. So let me think about... I'm trying to build... I think my base should be here. Yeah, I think it's here that I was trying to build my base. Let me see, how do I... What is the button for... For opening up my taming menu? I don't want to just press random stuff. Because my whistles will start going off. L. Here we go. Okay, so okay, I see all my stuff here. That's good. Yeah, I ha remember I started to make... I had like an army of pelicans. You have a giant army of pelicans. Oh my god, no, these things better get the fuck away from me. I hate these evil birds. Yeah, basically, uh, I get to breed them. The, the wild dinosaurs are scary as fuck if you're just, like, walking around and they start coming at you. Yes, I am the Swamp King. Let's see... I need uh once you once you go back once you see my base you're gonna see like all the shit that I have. I need to build something here. We got Sebastian and like I started to remake the whole army and everything. Corvus Dark Talon, I remember, oh my god. That's my bird, my dark bird that's like black and red. Anyway, I wanna build a base here, maybe on the island, what do you think? Should I build a base on the beach here or on that island? You decide. Because I want to have a base that's like next to this mountain. Oh god. I hate berries. Alright, let's do it. How do I jump on this thing again? Oh, it's right click. Oh my god. Okay, that jump was insanely bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh my goodness. Jesus Christ. Okay, so when I right click, I can jump. Oh, my God. Okay, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. I. Oh, my God. Why the hell does it freaking jump so far sometimes and then it doesn't jump far? Oh my god, please stop. Oh my god. Yo! Why is the jump so crazy when I jump off that rock? Oh my god.
Yeah, and these are the small gators, by the way. These are like gator dogs. I actually have really big, gigantic gators at, at the base. Okay, here we go. We're on the island. You can kind of think of this game kind of like Minecraft and Pokemon mixed together. Okay, so that's a part of this, this terrain. Wait, where's my crossbow? What happened to my crossbow? Yo, this rock is huge. My god. Yeah, if you mine the rock with an axe, you get more rock. If you mine it with a pickaxe, you get more metal. This game has, like, specific, like... You get more skin if you mine with an axe. You get more meat if you mine with a pickaxe. Okay, finally it's turning daytime. All right. We're starting to clear this out a bit. I think I'll start the foundation, like, here. I hope that death 18 over there is not like me, my crossbow over there, because that would be horrifying. Okay, so this is the beginning of the, the base here.
And from here, I could just keep building foundations, I believe, right? It's not going to fall down if I just keep building foundations, right? Wait, what the hell? I'm surprised that this is actually going down here. I thought it would connect like this. I'm surprised that it's like going down. That's interesting. Oh my god. Those birds piss me off so much. New building system. What the fuck? What is happening here? Uh, press Q. I hate those fucking birds so much. They've sto they've literally destroyed a hundred of my narcotics before. How do I build a bridge now? This is confusing me. Do I put like, s like what do I do? Floor or like ceiling? If I do a wood ceiling, is this gonna fall down? Oh, I don't want the triangle ceiling. I need. Oh god. Alright, well. This will be the bridge eventually. Okay, let me go make sure that I that my dead body over there is not like has my shit because maybe I got pissed off I don't know Oh yeah, see all the different colors, by the way? You could actually breed for colors as well. That's what I'm saying, like, did I, did I get my stuff back? I see that I have... Narcos and I have arrows, but I don't see my... My, uh... I don't see my, uh... Crossbow right now. I need my swarm to get up here. I died to fucking little bastards when I was on my bird. Oh my god, the jumping is so fucking far. Crazy shit, Jesus. Oh my god, Carno. Yeah, Dimorphodons, the fucking annoying bastards.
I guess one of my capros got stuck. Let's kill this thing. Uh, hello? Where are my other guys? Wow. These other guys did not even help. Excuse me? That could have been bad. Oh my god, tiger. Okay, we're good, we're fine, we're fine. And he's a strong boy. Okay, let's go to my corpse. And if I need to, I can run away. I think there was also a T-Rex. Remember the T-Rex? Aye, aye, aye. Okay, come on. There we go, big jump. Bitch. Ay, the wrong way, motherfucker, what the hell? Jesus. There we go. Okay, I don't see my body at all, so... A T-Rex is horrifying. They're gigantic. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my Jesus! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, that scared the shit out of me. He's 1 HP. I'm so scared right now. Oh my god. I'm, I'm leaving this mountain. I'm leaving this fucking mountain. I'm leaving this fucking mountain. I'm leaving this mountain. I'm so scared right now. I was 1 HP. Let's get the fuck off of this mountain. Okay, squad, let's get the hell out of here. Holy shit. I didn't know the fucking fall damage was gonna be that crazy. <laughs> oh my god. I would not even have dared to do that. Jesus. Yeah, by the way, uh, Brandon, if my dino dies, it's dead. It's dead. There's no reviving, okay?
Oh my god, can these bitches hurry the hell up and get over here? No, I mean like, you know how in a normal game you can revive stuff. This is just permanently dead. Girl, where the fuck? Hello? Why are you stuck in here, bitch? I'm trying to, like, get him unstuck out of that rock, because sometimes you have to punch them. Like that. See? Oh my god. Sometimes they get stuck in shit and it's horrifying. What the fuck is this bitch stuck on now? Ay, 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 oi. A, A, S, what? Huh? Look at this guy, he's just stuck here. Okay, good. Get the fuck out of here. Go. <laughs> oh, you didn't know the animated series of that. Oh, yeah. Wow, he's just gonna go watch that. He said, fuck my stream. <laughs> it, this actually, the way I'm punching them constantly, it makes it seem like I'm just abusive. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Everybody, let's get back to base. Oh my god. The fucking range is insane. That jump is crazy, bitch. <laughs> I just I just don't understand how it gets so far. Let's wait for our little swarm to get here. By the way, I have an army of big ass crocodiles and I have an army of pelicans as well. They're at my actual base. I have an actual base that I have to go to right now. I live in the swamp. That's where I caught all these crocodiles too. So, let's see. Down there is my base. Oh, it says my last death is down there. What the fuck? This is my personal uh, crocodile doggy. 
That's why he has a name, and I, I'm focusing on HP on him so he can survive. HP and weight. While these other ones are just attack dogs, so they're focused on HP. And, like they, so one K they get one K HP, and then I focus everything on attack. So my main dog here is gonna be tanky, while the other ones are all attack. Oh, and look, these are big bitches over here, mammals. These are innocent, uh, calm creatures that don't bother you. But they also fight back, so don't fuck with them. Oh, those are sharks in the water, by the way. I kind of want to see my swarm kill these sh shark. Wild female. Let's go. Destroy them! Wow, they're huge. Okay, we ate them. Oh my god. So many fucking fish. Holy shit, piranhas all over the place. Oh my god. Yeah, those are megalodons. My god. <laughs> I just like, so many piranhas just swam towards me to eat me. Okay, where is my Enki? Here he is. Okay, so you saw my little swarm destroy them. Oh, these snakes are annoying. These snakes, if they sneak up to you, sneak up on you when you're not on a mount or anything, they'll knock you out in one bite if you're not careful. And they're very sneaky. So you just straight up die if you're not paying attention. Almost to my base. Okay, here's my base. Oh my god, what's over here? There's a crocodile fighting my shit over there. Wait a minute. Hurry up. Hurry the fuck up. Get over there. Oh, wait, what? Excuse me? You little freak? Okay, good. Okay, we're back at my base. <laughs> yes, this is my base. Okay, let's get my little capros over here so they don't take up so much space.
By the way, the swamp is one of the most annoying places to live in, and I decided to live in there. Okay, you see these pelicans? I have a giant army of pelicans that... Like, I just bred them out of these two constantly. Like, these two are constantly giving birth to shit. And these birds just keep, uh... They just keep giving birth and not dying, so I just have random birds coming up all the time. Let me see, where is my bird, my personal birdie, that I ride on? Because I have a white bird that I, like I have a white pelican that I ride on. And Corvus is just flying over there. Let me see. Oh, I love these turtles, by the way. These little turtles. This is my house. Oh, look. This is my little pet. This thing could actually go on my shoulder. And I love the colors. You could actually put these on your shoulder. And this is my, uh, he got stuck in here and I decided to just keep him in there. I built all these walls and all this shit. Okay, here, here's my crocodile army. These are called Sarkos. So these big ass crocodiles are called Sarkos. Sarkosuchus. And my... Little crocodiles over here, they're called Caprosuchus. And these are frogs that I have. And yes, you can ride these frogs. Yeah. Because I basically tame any animal that I like the color. And you can breed them so you can get a bunch of them. Let me go call my bird over here. This is my personal birdie that I can fly around on. I'm sure you love these things because you can have these in all kinds of colors. Because he's because he's like completely black, I called him Corvus Dark Talon because it's like a edgy name. He looks like a raven, and you can find all kinds of colored birds. So you can find like a something that looks like a phoenix if it's red, red and orange. I'm trying to find where the hell is my white. My white pelican. Is was my white pelican it might have been in the original game, not this one. Oh and here's my axolotl.
the cool thing about pelicans is that they that they um what you call it i love the colors on this frog that they can have they can they can like swim on the top of the water as you can see i've whenever i find dinosaurs with colors that i like i tame them like look at this <laughs> This is my raptor. Where? Where's my pelican? Because I had a pelican with a saddle. Whatever. Sebastian is my main crocodile. And then I... So this is how my uh, crocodile army works, right? I have Sebastian, who's my main mount. Then I have M Moss and Teresa, who are like my generals. So Moss and Teresa follow Sebastian, but then I have a bunch of crocodiles that follow Moss and Teresa each. And I'm trying to figure out where the hell are they. Oh, what the fuck is happening here? Who's being attacked right now? Oh, what the hell? Oh, that crocodile looks cool! No, don't kill him! Oh, no! Damn. It sucks when a cool-looking crocodile just dies because they, they're stupid as hell. Look at this big-ass brontosaurus, by the way. Oh, this is not a brontosaurus. This is a... an Abe something, I think. You could tame these, by the way. There's a lot of humongous dinosaurs you can tame. I hear a tiny crocodile right now. Oh, I think... I think I was supposed to... Make, like... I was trying to farm metal so I could repair my... So I can repair my crossbow. I think that's what I was supposed to do. Oh, you see that crocodile over there? There's two of them over there. I'm trying to figure out what happened to all my crocodiles. Like, I feel like I had way more. Did they all die or something? I feel like horrible things happened to me, and that's why I stopped playing. <laughs> Okay. You know, there's a there's a certain thing you can do with these little crocodile bitches. You can actually club them. So these little freaks over here, 
You can actually club them to knock them out. Oh my god, there's more than one. That's bad. Oh my god, there's more than one. Oh, shit! There's more than one! Oh, he's knocked out. He's knocked out. I need to get the fuck out of here. Oh my goodness. If you, that's how you tame them. You have to knock them out. Okay, I hear him sleeping this way. Oh god, he's after me. Where is he? Where is that freak? I feel like there's someone chasing me right now. Oh, that one. Who cares about that? Ah! That bitch just attacked my fucking crap Capro. Let's kill this little freak real quick. Oh, I tamed it really fast. <laughs> That's how fast you can tame these, by the way. If you use alpha meat. Oh, wait, what the hell? This one looks so much like my... This one looks so much like my Enki. It has the same colors, I think. Oh no, it's more purple, never mind. Oh, how dare they attack my pelican! Is my pelican okay? Where did my pelican go? Did my pelican just die? Okay, he flew away, that's good. I don't know where he is then. Anyway, as you can see, I have like a fucking army of just crocodiles and shit. Because I'm the Swamp King.
What the hell is happening now? Okay, finally, I got this pelican to come to me. But yeah, as you can see, they can, uh, they can, like, hover on the water. Can you imagine the game, by the way? You start the game with no animal or anything, and you have to just survive when all these things are trying to kill you. And you can die in, like, two seconds. Yes, this is the swamp. Welcome to the swamp. Constantly being attacked by everything. Why am I stuck? God. I need to repair my club. There we go. In case a freaking little crocodile tries to kill me again, I could just knock it out. By the way, uh, this island is humongous. Let me show you how big this island is. So you have an idea of, like, the amount of shit. That's my little base down there. The mountain that I was at before is over there. If you go all the way over there, that snowy arctic area that has like wolves, like the big ass wolves and giant mammoths and all kinds of shit. There's also a volcano over there, I think. There's, there's also these big redwood forests in the middle. There's like a big redwood forest in the middle. Yeah, it's very, very big. There's a whole nother fucking area on the complete opposite side. Can you imagine how beautiful this game would look if I upgraded my computer? Because this is on low settings. Because I cannot handle this on anything higher. Let me figure out, I gotta get my crossbow back. That's the main thing I have to do right now. I have to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do about that. By the way, this is my spike wall section. Where things can die if they walk into this.
Oh yeah, I didn't even tell you. You could build an underwater base. There's also underwater dinos. There's a whale as well. Huh, where the hell? Where the hell did my... Oh, they're breeding over here. I need to pay attention to this. In... How long? It doesn't say a timer? Oh, I got a lot of kite in here. Yeah, anyway, let me show you the underwater. What's up, Potter? Oh, this is moss. What the fuck? I need to be in Sebastian. Oh, what the f Oh my god, that's a berry. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright. Okay. Anyway, so berry not berry onyx, they're very scary in the water because they can uh, stun your dinos. Let me see if I can find any, like, underwater dinos anywhere. I know there's giant krakens in this game. Oh. Oh my god, they still have this annoying bug. In the original game, these sarcos would go down into the water. Right now, they're not. That's really annoying. Now they just stay on top. Like, what the fuck? Hmm, different color pelican. Where am I going? Okay, let me go see if my little crocodiles could go underwater. If they can, then I'm just going to use them.
Oh, nice. These guys are useful now. Never mind. They're bugged out or something. What are they doing? Why are they just here? That's so annoying. They need to fix this shit. Because in the original game, I had this army just go underwater. It was just fine. Why are they just stuck over there? Did half of them just get stuck underwater now? Okay, good. They're back. Uh, okay, well, that sucks. I guess I'll have to catch a shark or something. But first, I need my fucking uh, crossbow. Cryopod. Okay. Oh yeah, he's my storage device. <laughs> this this big ass here is my storage device. Oh god. I just remember. What about you, freaks? Anything in here? No. Where the hell? Where the hell did I put my crossbow? Oh yeah, I forgot these things were giving birth. Oh my god, it hatched. Are those twins? Oh my god, it gave birth to twins, I think. Move, bitch! Move! Oh my god. Yo, this frog looks cute. Move. Move, I need to... Oh my god, so annoying. There's a there's one under him that needs to you need to get the fuck out the way. Move. Move. Your twin is going to die if you don't move the fuck out the way. Oh, he's grown up. Okay, I could put the I could put the freaking saddle on him. Get the fuck out the way, damn.
Let's <laughs> start a revolution. Nah. They have no free will. I need to put, like, all these fucking pelicans to follow one pelican right now. I think I was trying to make pelican saddles. Because I don't seem to have one right now. There's so much shit I need to do. Like, okay, what do I need to do to make a pelican? Pelican saddle. I need... Chitin, which I have. I have hide. Okay. I need a lot of hide. I need a lot of fiber. So let me just do this right now. Because the pelican could float on the water so I could take it to like watery stuff. And plus I need a saddle so I can have a pelican army. Also, bitch, you know exactly why I want a pelican. Because it's a water bird. I need a fucking fiber shit now. Exactly, how silly of you. There we go, finally. Now, I, the main reason why I need the saddle is so I can make it so that all those random pelicans just follow. They, if they fly away to kill something, they can come back home. And I'm definitely going to put on this light blue one over here.
There we go. Now they're all gonna follow this pelican. Don't you love how all the all of them are green, by the way? They look just like soldiers. What is happening? Oh, he's being killed by that thing. Oh, wow. He just died to the, the wall. That poor fat bitch. Yeah, so this is my flying army. I think I'm gonna bring my flying army to go catch a what you call it. Once I make a once I make a crossbow. Once I make a crossbow, I'm gonna just go find a shark and tame it. I'm gonna try to make a shark army because I literally can't use my crocodiles for some reason. Let's see what I need. What the fuck? What's happening? How come I can't make a crossbow? Oh, that's why. Fiber, wood, and metal. That's not even that bad. I can make it right now. Oh my god, where the hell is my metal?
What the hell? Do you remember where I put my metal? I guess I'll just have to go get some. Now, this is gonna be a bit scary because I have to. Oh, I have metal here. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait a second. There we go! Perfect! I think what happened was I got pissed off that my crossbow, my green crossbow broke. And then I was like, I'm not gonna make a crossbow, I'm gonna just go find some shit. Like I did the first time. But I don't got time for that shit, so I'm just gonna make my own right now. Now I can go catch some sharks. Oh my god. I'm so lost. <laughs> I think I put all my arrows here. I only have 17. Okay, let me just make some of them. Okay, we're gonna go catch some sharks now, and it's nighttime, which is kind of horrifying, but... We're gonna test out the pelican army. You see, pelicans are a lot faster than than the big bird, but their stamina is a lot less, I believe. And th their weight is a lot less. But I've been I've been leveling up this bitch a lot. She's 99. 300 weight, almost 300 stamina. So she's pretty good. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> oh, there's a shark. There we go. Shit. Come on, shark. Come here. Come here. There we go. There's another shark coming. Okay, he's knocked out. Now I need that other one. Where is that other shark hiding? Oh, 
Where's the other shark hiding? I saw him. Where the fuck is he? I don't have meat on me. Oh my god. Oh, there he is. It's a bit laggy right now. Oh my god, knock out, bitch. Okay, good. Okay, good. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna go eat one of those big-ass dinosaurs, because I need a lot of meat right now. One of these big ones. There's so many of them, oh my god. I'm scared that they're gonna, like, go crazy. Because they, they help each other. <sighs> oh my god, it's so laggy by the way. Okay, we got it. Okay, we did it. Wow. My pelican one shot that shit. By the way, I have so much oxygen. I leveled up everything into oxygen, so I could breathe on the water a long ass time. It also increases your swim speed, the more oxygen you have. Oh, that's a dolphin. Hi, dolphin. How are you doing? Cute little dolphin. Oh, nice. Hi dolphins, come here.
As soon as this thing gets hungry, it's gonna jump up, because alpha meat tames them faster. I hope that's a male and a female so I could just start breeding them. This is why pelicans are good. They could just stay there on the water. Come here, I want to feed you some more. There's These uh, dolphins are so hard to tame. Because you have to just keep feeding them and they run away a lot. Because, by the way, the big bird, if you touch the water, you, like, get dismounted. Which is really fucking annoying. Whatever, I give up on that. Okay, this is a male. And this is a... A male. Okay, I need a female. Megalodon saddle. Cementing paste? Okay, I have enough. I could do that. I just need fiber. I'm gonna have the sharks follow my pelican. I should rename this one. Oh my god, how long does it take for this thing to get tamed? Yeah, he has food. You know, nighttime in the first game was really, really horrifying. Because it was basically pitch black. Like, you couldn't see shit. I like, as I say that, one of my birds shit. Yeah, it's very scary. Now I'm going to be on a journey to find a female Megalodon. What's that about? There we go.
You could take care of giant bugs. What the fuck is happening here? Is that another shark? Yeah, another shark. Oh god, my sharks are like stuck on the ground over here. There we go. They get stuck on stuff very easily. Fucking... Oh my god, that's bad. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Berries are really, really annoying, as you just saw. They, uh, they could stun things that are, that are in the water. Baryonyx are, are dinosaurs that if you're in the water, they can stun you. Which is very dangerous, as you saw. A good it's a good thing I had two sharks, so I think I just heard another berry. Yes. Oh my god, they're stuck on something again. This is why I need to get a saddle as soon as possible. Oh my god, what the hell is fighting me now? What are you being green thing? Oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to have Sebastian follow. Oh, the giant green light over there? Okay, that's... Okay, so... Give me a second. Um, the green thing is literally a, so like, the story of this is, the reason why it's called Ark is that all these random animals and all this shit here and why we're here, some, somebody wanted to preserve all these species and they put us all on the same place, right? So these obelisk things are like the technology of the people who made this place. And those are like... 
I think they're supposed to be like temperature control and all that other shit. And there's boss fights that are at these things. And there's one in like each area. So the green one is the one that's next to the swamp. There's a red one, a blue one, all kinds of different color ones. Like, a big-ass giant spider is one of them. There's, like, a big-ass giant Sasquatch, I think. There's also, uh, on different maps, there's, like, dragons. You can have dragons. There's all kinds of, like, fake animals, too. I haven't played those yet, and I haven't tamed those, but I know about them. Alright, I need to make a shark saddle. Cementing base. I got plenty of that now. I think you're gonna think the wolves are really cute. Because they're literally just giant wolves that you can ride on.
the uh, managing stuff is pretty like time consuming. Okay, you see how they all go to attack? That's why I want them to be on follow. So that, like, they go to attack and then they go back to where they're supposed to be. Because I'm fine with them defending, I just don't want them to just keep going outside of the base and then staying out there. Like, this bird over here is, like, literally just out in the open. That's why I think I'm going to put him to follow the pelican. There we go. So now I have a flying army that defends my base. That will come back after they're done killing them. to go collect some cementing paste when it's daytime. The way I can do that is by hunting these dragonflies with my frog. And what I usually do is I have Enki follow my frog so that they can defend me when I'm exploring. That's so annoying. So now I have Enki following me, and then all of those things follow Enki. Because the worst thing that can happen is like, oh, I'm gonna go hunt, I'm gonna go hunt some cementing paste. Okay, bye. With my frog, and then I get jumped by like 50 million dinosaurs, and then my frog dies. Like I'll die, and my frog dies. That'd be horrifying.
The one annoying thing about pelicans is that they only eat fish. So like... I have to specifically hunt for, for fish to feed them. Okay, be right back. I'm going to be waiting a little bit for this to go to daytime as well, so... I like how I have four viewers and I was just staring at the ground. <sighs> Good. How long does it take for this nighttime to go away? Another crocodile attack. All right, I'm going to try to see if I can find some dragonflies.
Ugh. You know what's the weirdest thing? To tame these fucking snails, you need, like, sweet pie, like, some cake or some shit. And I'm like, what? Oh, by the way, there's also ponies in this game. They have, like, a small horse little thing you can ride on. I hate these birds so much. Those birds that make that noise, they could just attack you sometimes. And they, uh... They could s destroy your shit that you're holding. Like, I believe one of those birds actually... Oh my god, that's a berry. Oh my god, where are my capros? Oh my god. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Oh my god, no! You piece of shit! Get away from me! Now my frog is dead. I am extremely mad. I am extremely fucking mad right now. My dog- my, my fucking frog is dead now. My frog is dead because the fucking Capros didn't chase. Like, are we serious right now? Wait, did my Capros get there in time? No, they killed my frog! You bastards! Kill this fucking berry right now! Kill it! Bastards! Get off of me! What the fuck? Jesus Christ! Now you know why this fucking place is horrifying! That's why. Now I'm gonna fall asleep because of a snake. That's great. Yeah. My my pelican army is the use is the useful one. Oh my god, dimorphodons are attacking now. Oh, I hate dimorphodons because those motherfuckers somehow don't get hit by by flying like like if i have birds a bird army somehow two dimorphodons will just survive don't don't fucking dodge every attack oh my god where am i now can i just respawn here please Ugh, so annoying Now you know why the swamp is annoying. I'm just so extremely mad, like, 
That frog, I invested so much into it. That was my fucking cementing paste collector. Now I have to level up another frog. And it's literally the frog died because my capros decided to not follow. I just remembered that Sebastian is following my my pelican. I just remembered that, so now everything's over here. And nothing's defending my base right now. to go level up another frog. Okay, now that my fucking capros are over here, I can go bring my defense force back home. Excuse me? I saw- You saw those frogs fighting that Sarko? <laughs> well, this is my new frog and I hope he, uh... I hope he could survive. What is attacking me right now? Oh my god. How did that Sarko attack me when I was flying?
Now let's go hunt some damn dragonflies. There, nothing should happen this time because I literally have my cap rows like just sitting over here now. They're not gonna get stuck in some random tree. I think my frogs that were following me are getting killed right now. I think the third frog is getting killed right now. No, he's just stuck in a rock. I hate trying to find these stupid uh, dragonflies, because every time I need them, I can't find them. But when I'm just wandering around randomly, I find them all the time. Oh, here's one. Uh huh. Where the hell is it? By the way, I think this pterodon looks cool. Oh. Another snake. Oh, and a sarco. I think that was just my frogs that killed that thing. Jesus. Let me level up these guys. My frog defense force. I like to level up everything to 1000 HP. And then I focus on melee damage. So they don't so they don't die in like one hit and then they could do a lot of damage. Oh, there's one. You know, I still haven't found that disgusting, humongous, gigantic bug that Cloud was talking about. Because I've never gone to the swamp, deep in the swamp next to the redwoods. There's supposedly this humongous, disgusting, giant bug thing that you can fly around on. If you tame it.
Okay, I have enough cementing pegs now. Who the fuck is attacking me right now? Fuck off. Oh, a Sarko. Oh, hello. I really want to start taming Sarkos, but since uh, since they can't go underwater anymore, that's annoying. So I'm just gonna focus on sharks right now. What the fuck? Jesus. Not the frog on frog violence, I know, right? What the fuck? Ooh, we got a bunch of them here. Nice, they can auto farm that shit now. I think I'm just gonna leave all these guys over here so that whenever I need to farm that shit I'll just come out here I really want that right there now all I need is for these guys to stop stop attacking please please for the love of God do not attack the thing that I am trying to catch right now, please. Please. Can we not do that, please? I need to figure out how to <laughs> how to do the fucking <laughs> like calm down to all my stuff. All passive, semicolon, okay. And then all attack my target. Okay, so all, whatever, all passive, oh my god, I need to know how to do all attack my target, because I do not want them to just, like, some random thing come out of nowhere and they all just die. All neutral, I guess, hyphen. The fuck is a hyphen again? Is that a dash? Let me look it up. Yeah, it's a it's a dash. Okay. All right. So hyphen is to make them all neutral. You're calm now, right? Calm. Okay, good. Now let me knock you out. Okay, okay, he's knocked out. Now I need to feed him some alpha meat. I'm sure one of you have alpha meat. Yeah, there we go. That's how you tame things in this game. <laughs> you beat the shit out of it.
Look at how pretty those colors are. Oh my god. I love the like aqua color on it. Okay, let's make them all neutral now. Okay. I believe neutral... Uh, cloud. Neutral defends stuff, right? They still defend themselves and they defend your other dinos. Okay, good. So, semicolon when I'm trying to tame something. Dash when I want them to defend themselves. Good. That's the new setup now. And I have to make sure I never press dash in my base. And I have to make sure I never press semicolon in my base. So yeah, Cloud, the reason why I'm trying to tame some sharks now is because, as you know, in this, in ASA, Sarcos and Capros are really fucking buggy in the water. Like, they don't like to swim underwater. It's like, when, when I have them following me, it's fucking annoying. I remember in the original, I had an army of Sarcos that I would just go underwater. It was amazing. Now they don't do that, so now I need to go tame a bunch of fucking sharks. So I can go explore underwater. It's really annoying. Like, the sarcos, they stay on top of the water. Like, they're just floating on top of the water. And then the capros, they get, they all go to, like, a certain location and then they just get stuck there. I don't know what's going on with that, but they need to fix that at some point. Oh my god, uh, look, wait, oh my god, look at this pelican. Give me a second. Uh, uh, I need rocks or something, oh my god. Give me your rocks right now. Damn it. Nobody has rocks. Give me rocks, bitch. There's no rocks. Okay, there we go. Where is this pelican now? Oh no! Pelican! That's annoying. Okay, we need this thing to be passive, because I don't want it to die, because they're really weak as fuck. I really want this pelican. I just need it to land.
Oh god, it's one of those monsters. Where are you, Pelican? I saw you. This monster here? This monster will destroy stuff that's in my inventory. If he feels like attacking me. And there's two of them in this area. Oh my god. Oh. I feel like I saw it. Where is it? Where the fuck is that pelican? I feel like I keep seeing it. Ay ay ay. Whatever. Yeah, it's gone. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna bring my Pteranodon back home. Alright, I'm gonna leave all these guys over here for next time I want to get dragonflies. Wait, let me make sure they're on defense mode. Yeah, okay. I'm extremely ballsy right now by just going out here with no dinosaur, but I am the Swamp King, bitch. I've been in this swamp since I had like no gear at all, bitch. Oh, I hear a I hear a capro. I hear a capro. That sound was a capro. A capro's trying to sneak up on me and then jump on me. So you want to move around very quickly when you hear that noise. When you hear that sound, that's a capro. And the problem with the Capros are they jump on your ass and then if you don't if you don't react quickly enough you die. Look at how pretty it is. You see this? <laughs> what the fuck was that at? <laughs> oh my god, I just leveled up food. What the fuck? I don't want to level up food. That's so fucking annoying. Oh, a Sarko. Wait a minute. I want to tame that if I can. Come here, bitch. Oh my god, another one. This one looks pretty. Oh, they both got knocked out, nice. All right. 
Uh huh. We need to collect some meat real quick. You see how I'm the Swamp King? I don't even fucking panic at all, bitch. <laughs> the Capros are the annoying ones. Circles are really fucking easy. Who is fighting me right now? I hear something like someone's fighting. What's going on? Oh, it's this frog. That's fine. I like the color of this one. This one is really close to dying. Okay, let me go catch that Capro. The one that I heard before. What the fuck is that? Is that a berry? Oh, Brontosaurus. Female Brontosaurus. It was just really far away. I was wondering why it was so tiny. There's a Triceratops. Okay, let's go tame a Capro. So there's two ways of taming a Capro. You let it bite you, and then you go boom, 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 just start smashing its face in with a club. Or you dodge its jump, and then you shoot it with arrows. If you get jumped on, you need to club it. If you want to make sure to tame it. And you want to hear for the... Like that weird noise they make. That... That means they're going to start sneaking up to you. Because once they notice you, they make a noise, and then they start sneaking. And then they'll jump on you out of nowhere. So you, you, got, you wait for the noise, and then you look around to try to find them. I hear swimming. So one of them might be in the water. It might be another dino. And if you ever hear a... Like a hissing noise... You don't want to stay still because there's a snake trying to sneak up on you. And that noise is a snail. Ew. That's a snail noise. Where the hell is it? Oh, here it is. Yeah, if you pay attention to noises, you'll know what kind of dino is near you. I'm hunting crocodiles. Where are you at? Hmm? I feel like Florida man right now. The fact that there are actually swamps that look like this in America is kind of crazy. Because I, I saw pictures. Hmm? I think that's a Dimetrodon. Not a... Yeah, a Dimetrodon. Yeah, right here. Did you know that these Dimetrodon are actually mammals? Well, 
they they become mammals. They were like really really old. Another thing you need to be worried about. Sarcos, those big ass crocodiles in the water are extremely fast. They're so extremely fast. Oh my god. Was that a berry or was that a... It sounded like a capro. But it looked a bit bigger. Where are you at, bitch? That's a dimo. Uh, it's a it's a dilo. That's fine. Hmm. That's one of these little freaks. I wonder where that uh. Wonder where that freaking Capro went. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What was that? You know you could walk on top of these things? And there's certain dinos, like those big ass, uh, those big ass things that I killed before, that you could build a base on top of them. They have a saddle that lets you build like a small little base. I have some PTSD about this area because I remember when I started first making my base, this area had like five capros. Yeah, there's also these big giant ass birds. Not birds, but like big giant ass pteranodon looking thing that you could build a base on. It's humongous. The same thing they're planning to have like a big ass whale that you could build a base underwater. Speaking of which, there is a whale. It's not like a true whale, but it's like what becomes a whale. They make like these, uh, like, like song sounds. I think this is the pelican that I wanted. Pretty sure this is the pelican that I wanted. Yeah, there's a big ass... I haven't tamed one yet, but there's a big ass squid. As well. Oh, look, it's a little baby triceratops. Look at it. All right. That guy just randomly found the pelican that I wanted.
I need so much fiber. Female? Male. Oh my god, I can start breeding these too. Mmm, imagine. Oh my god, wait a minute. Imagine these colors, but with the greenish wings. Like these greenish wings. I could breed something like that. That would be pretty. You are so cute. I love this one so much. This is my favorite color, basically. This this bluish green. Light blue with the greenish. Oh my god. Oh, a shark came by? Anyway, I need to hurry up to that pelican before it uh, wakes up and I just wasted all my narcotics, you know? So let me just get the bird that I'm trying to get right now. Okay, good. Now it's following me. So yeah, that's how you tame stuff, by the way. You knock them out, and then you just put food in their inventory, and then they'll slowly eat and get more... get more, uh... taming progress. And... After a while, they'll wake up, so you might need to put more tranquilizer in them. <laughs> By the way, there's also a bunch of mammals in this game. So there's like... There's a big foot, there's a little monkey that could be on your shoulder. There's otters, like little otters that can be on your shoulder. There's wolves. There's mammoths. There's a woolly rhino. All kinds of stuff. Let me just gather all this fiber here. A big part of why this game is so fucking laggy is the amount of, like, foliage that's just here. I remember in the original game, there was not this much foliage. I could fly to go see the, uh, wolves eventually. Once I put the saddle on my Megalodon. Like, remember this thing was completely covered, and now it's not? Hmm. 
<sighs> okay, finally, here we go. Oh, I kind of like this color. It has bluish with purple stripes. The other one, the color sucks. But I'm happy about this one. Yeah, this one has ugly ass color. Oh, but the bottom looks good. Wait a minute. The bottom looks good. Oh, but it's a male, so it doesn't matter. I can't breathe them. Who the fuck? Piranhas are really attacking sharks? Really, bitch? So yeah, I'm gonna have like a giant army of these bitches eventually. Yo, what the fuck? Wait a minute. Wait, what? Excuse me? What in the world am I watching right now? Is there a problem here? There has to be a reason why nothing will follow me underwater. That's insane. What? Not even sharks. What? So maybe, maybe I need to find out what the hell's going on. If I could figure out what's going on, maybe the Sarkos can actually be good then. Because that's not normal. Why the fuck is everything not following me? Oh, I tamed it. I don't think it's my game. I think it's, uh, they programmed it terribly. Like, I think it's a buggy mess that they didn't even bother to fix. I don't know. I'm going to look it up afterwards. Because this company is known for uh, doing things like really badly, so we'll see. 
No, bitch. Oh my god, this stupid bird. Yo, so much chaos is happening right now. Where is my bird that I just tamed? Okay, here. Okay. No, this is not him. The fuck? Who just said something on Discord? Oh my god. At all, bitch. Oh, I hear a, I hear a Capro. I hear a Capro. That sound was a Capro. It's a Capro is trying to sneak up on me and then jump on me. So you want to move around very quickly when you hear that noise. When you hear that <laughs> sound, <laughs> that's at all, bitch. What's so loud? You mean the thing I was listening to? <laughs> Obsidian looks so cool. I need to get a saddle for him. Oh my god, she's stuck in the ground now. What in the world? I've already tried a cave, and I lost, like, half my shit. I'm pretty sure that I lost, like, so much stuff. And by the way, um... I, uh, I tried riding a fucking shark, and the other shark would not go underwater. So there's some type of problem. Like, look at this shit. This is freaking ridiculous. Like, I come over here... I'm like, okay, come with me. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. okay. Yeah, I, I come over here. I'm like, okay, come. It was an underwater cave. I'm like, okay, come follow me now. And look, do you see this bitch that is up there? He is doing the exact, exact same thing that the circles did. Why is he not coming down here? 
There's some weird thing that's going on right now where they don't go underwater. Like, when they're following, they don't go underwater. Underwater for some reason. This is the same thing that the circles were doing. And I thought having a shark would fix it. Oh my god, what is that? What in the world is that? Is that a crocodile? It looks so cute over there. Wait a minute. Oh my god, what is it chasing? Come over here, crocodile. I do not want to be uh, in, in the water, though. That's scary. I don't want to be in the water. I want to catch that though, so I need to get on my bird. And lure it to the ground. Or in general, just lure it to the ground. Okay, move, move, move. I gotta run before it comes to my base. No! No, don't, don't do it, Sarko, please. Come here. I think it was a blue Sarko, I don't want it to die. Oh my god, is that a berry? Why is there a berry there? Oh my god. Okay, I need to shoot that thing. With normal arrows. Get the hell out of my place, you bitch. What the fuck? How did I not hit it? Yeah, you piece of shit. Get the hell out of here. You piece of shit. Get the fuck out of my base. Metal hatchet. Okay, now I gotta get that crocodile. There he is. Oh no, that's a frog. Where the fuck is he? Oh my god. You fucking... I hate piranhas so much. There's more of them coming. They're so annoying. Where is that Sarko that I had? It was like a blue Sarko and I wanted it. so sad
It looked really cool. I wanted it. Like, I've been looking for a blue Sarko for so long. Like, I want to have a main Sarko that's like my Sarko, and I want to breed it and stuff. I, I feel like my people killed it or something, and I just didn't see. I need to go cook some meat too. How did this thing get in here? Get the hell out of here. Oh my god. I just remembered, look how pretty this Carnosaur is. Oh my god. Blue, green. So if you want to know the story of these two, it's actually, um, I, I killed their mother because their mother was trying to kill us and then I adopted them. <laughs> yeah, that's why I have them. It was on top of the mountain, and that's when I did some crazy shit, like, where I almost died and lost all my shit. Well, I did die, but I almost lost all my shit. And this turtle here has been with me since the beginning. This is my baby here. It was my protector when I had nothing else. This bitch fought off Sarkos. With his 2k HP.
goofy ass starter house. Yeah, but <clears throat> I don't know if I'll stream as long uh, arc or anything, but I might stream a little bit. I still need a better computer. Yeah, that circle probably died. I think I'm gonna finish it here for the for arc. I need to figure out what the hell's going on with okay. Arc ASA Dinos don't follow underwater. What are the okay? Uh, Reddit's like, bitch, you people need to like actually answer me. That's annoying. They won't submerge. How is no one talking about this? I don't understand. Whatever. That's really annoying. <sighs> it is now time for a new campaign. Oh, Jesus.
I love how it just like doesn't show it at all. It takes forever to show it. In the name of Magnus. Now that you know the game, we got a lot of stuff to choose from. What is something that piques your interest right now? Before I look through all the lords. What race here? The pirate people and the dragon people. Okay, so for the dragon people, a dragon. We have Meowing, the storm dragon. We have Zhao Ming, Son of dragons, the iron dragon, and then we have Yuan Bo, the Master jade dragon. Celestial sorceress, head of imperial. By the way, the way I pronounce it is I'm actually pronouncing it how Chinese would. Zhao Ming, Miao Ying, Yuan Bo. That's actually how they would actually say it. But I know people are like, it's Yuan Bo. I execute the Dragon Emperor's orders and those who fail him. But anyway, then uh, for the pirate people, all fear the pirate king. We have this bitch who's crazy. He's actually crazy. We have this guy who's like Davy Jones, the Pirate King, whatever the fuck. We have this bitch who is who's technically not a vampire at all. She's more Norska, and she she's like the daughter of the Water God or some shit, and she's like a mermaid quotation marks. Then we have this bitch. Who's like siren spirit bitch that specializes in spirits and stuff? Vampire Coast. The final act. Silostra Diaphin. All right, here we go. Enables magical attacks, physical resistance, etc. So we're gonna start this. So we start out next to the Dark Elves. Are we gonna befriend the Dark Elves or are we gonna take them over? Because we can either focus on the Lizard Men. Fighting the lizard men, or we could focus on fighting the dark elves, or we could focus on killing the high elves again, because we're just like in the middle of all that shit. And whoever we fight will depend, like, like if we fight someone's enemies, they're gonna start liking us.
And I'm going to try to mostly build sirens. Which are those ghostly... You're going to see they're like ghostly units. The world is a stage, darling, and this region is my stage. He also comes with a a unique ghostly Frenchman. <laughs> what the fuck? Ghostly Bretonian hero guy. <laughs> Why does everything have Bretonia and French people? <laughs> I don't understand why. Have you ever thought about maybe you like French people? Maybe you like French culture? Because you like fancy French shit? Decisive victory. Here we go. Boom. Can we choose the dragon people? Uh, it's only one guy. He's only one guy. Witness my majesty. Everything else is just undead stuff. Is there some lore to why you hate French people so much? Summon a unit of damned knights errant. But these are dead French people. She's summoning dead French knights. Wow. Wow, she really just summons a bunch of dead French people, huh? What is she, from France? Girl, I chose the worst. Oh my god, fine. Jesus Christ. Now I have to go through a loading screen again. <laughs> nah, now Son it's too late. <laughs> of Dragon. Sigma's will. A dragon in human form. 
Okay, so Miao Ying, she has a bonus to leadership when fighting against demons. She has a 50% upkeep reduction with uh, missile infantry. And she gets plus 20% inf am ammunition. So she's literally all about just shooting you constantly. Then we have the, administrator of the, the Jade Dragon, which he has diploma diplomatic relations with Grand Cathay. He has upkeep reduction for Onyx Crowmen, Celestial Lions, Great Moonbirds, Jade Lions, and Jet Lions. Supreme Master of the Storm. So you're gonna play Mother. Dragon Law of the Iron Wind. And this guy, he's like an ally to the ogres, the fat, nasty bitches. I know, right? We played so many mothers. I execute the Dragon Emperor's orders and those who fail. All right, here we go. Yuan Bo, the administrator of the realm uses his formidable magic and vast information network to salvage an expedition in Lustria. Okay, this would be cool. So, like, you have two options with him, right? You can be like, oh, okay, I want to go to China and stay in China. Or, you can go to Lustria, which is fighting against Lizardmen, which is South America, basically. So, which path do you want to take? Do you want to take over China or do you want to take over South America against the Lizardmen? Okay. Like the Lizardmen whose magic brought them into being. The sentient mountain range, ranges that demar demarcate the, lush, the Isthmus of Lustria from the Dark Elves stands in stoic defense against Nagaroth's boundless hate. Throughout history, the relative safety of the Isthmus's bays and inlets have attracted many explorers of the Old World and beyond, with many, of who, have, with many who have made landfall arriving with Futile intentions to pillage Lustria's temple cities. Wiser are those who have made land... Hmm? Who eschew conflict... Eschew conflict with the cold cold-blooded locals. Yet such visitors are rare. For few risk the perilous journey across the great ocean without a lust for fortune. I read that whole shit. That's how fucking slow this loading screen is. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have a cutscene. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. An ancient power stirs in the land of dragons. A force of jade and steel. Deep in the heart of the central provinces. Wei Jin, the jewel in the crown of the Celestial Empire, home to the great Wu Xin compass. Watched over by its vigilant guardian, the Jade Dragon, master of the meteor winds. The architect of Grand Cathay's destiny. Yet as light 
turns to darkness. I'm the favored son of the he Dragon sees. Emperor. Commanding a vast network of unrelenting spies. That's no my birdies. No go undetected. No whispers go unheard. The dragon's eyes are everywhere. I must range out beyond our borders. Cathay's security demands it. It is the Jade Dragon's duty to increase the Celestial Emperor's influence in the world. By fully harnessing the power of the Wu Xing Compass, Yuan Bo must activate four dormant directions unique to the Jade Court that point, point towards distant sites of great power. Constructing an astronomic, uh, astromantic relay at each site will empower the compass to greatly strengthen Cathay's dominate dominion and bring Yuenbo closer to campaign victory. As astromantic relays are constructed, the Jade Dragon must stay prepared for hostilities from those who seek to stop the redirection of the winds of magic. Successfully activating the four dormant directions will lead to the final incursion. Okay, so that's our objective. Defeat an army belonging to the following faction, Blue Vipers. Alright. Here we go. Oh, he said it correctly. Cool. That means they got Chinese people to tell them how to say it. He said you and war. <laughs> okay. Gate Master. Ooh, Gate Master. This is a new thing, I think. Your presence humbles us, ancient lord. Well, I think yeah, there's a new one that I haven't used before. This shall be no easy lesson. Okay, come destroy them. Rouse for battle. Decisive victory against the orcs. A dragon stands with you. You know, this guy is actually really fucking OP against uh lords. He has an ability that does so much damage. That can like execute them or do a lot of damage at the beginning. It's caught Executioner's verdict or some shit. Such a waste. We cannot feed them. I of the Emperor. Okay, so we're like in the middle of nowhere over here. And China's over here. And you could technically take a path that brings you over here. This thing. March for your rations. Campaign movement plus five percent. All right. Welcome additions. Wuxing compass. The great bastion. The celestial lake. Dongchang basin. Warpstone desert. Dragon Emperor's Wrath. I think... Honestly, Great, great Bastion is pretty good. Or Nongchang Basin, because it gives growth. Hmm. 
Hmm. So I can't even pick Nongchang right now. So I'm just gonna do Grey Bastion. The Jade Court has the power to enact decisive acts of governance through matters of state, which can be used to influence a variety of targets on the campaign map. Levy the Promises. One man and one woman from every village, and one soldier from every garrison. Target army belonging, belonging to you or an ally instantly completes one turn of ongoing recruitment. Okay. So I can make recruitment faster. Okay, I can see. Now what? Matters of state are performed by using energies of steel and stone, which are never lost, only transferred between one another in the form of tokens. When a steel or stone token is used, it transfers to the other resource in an unusable pending state, which lasts a number of turns. Okay. Here we go. Crackdown. The cult of Qian Qi. Qian Shi. Qian Shi. That's what that would actually mean. Uh, merely a facet of the deeper threats that Cathay faces. Root out conspirators. And this reduces corruption by a lot, okay? Rush construction. Oh, so you can rush construction. Instantly construct something. Okay, so he just got a bunch of extra shit he can do. Well, I don't need to rush construction yet until I build something, so let's see. Okay, we need that. And we can rush that out. Oh, so any ongoing. So, like, that could be everything if you're building a bunch of shit. That would be good. Oh, wow. Instantly. Oh, so the same turn and everything. Wow. Cathay's forces were created for such triumphs. Targeting range for the Emperor's Executioner. Ability use plus one. Oh my god. That's pretty good. My effectiveness could be increased. I'm probably not gonna build here in Shangwu, because they're gonna say like you can give up this province or whatever the fuck. Oh my god, 282. <laughs> Remember the other campaign? It was just like 30. Thank you. 
So much to do. Set up my tent. I must confer with my parents. The way he just says parents, like. <laughs> Tell the soldiers, move. We require a balance of force and skill. I should be the celestial city, assuring the empire as well, not on the field. <laughs> he really just said I shouldn't be on the field. All right. Useful tool in the right hands. Master of the meteor winds. To unlock them, astromantic relay buildings must be constructed. Okay. So I can get Nongchang Basin if I get something. Like, I get a certain settlement. towards danger it is unwise to stray the celestial command I know they're gonna tell me at some point, do you wanna abandon Shang Wu or some shit? That's why I'm not building it. Here we go. No place like home. Here we go. The winds of magic gather, blowing through Lustria with an intensity that once harnessed will expand the reach and power of the Jade Compass. Compass exponent. Oh, the power of the power of the Jade. Yet yeah, what? Will extend the reach and power of the Jade Compass exponentially. What? Shouldn't it be of the Jade Compass exponentially? Whatever. <laughs> Yet the expedition to the continent has left your defenses and Cathay spread far too thin. A vampiric menace looms over Shang Wu like a shadow. The undead scourge could strike at any moment, and without proper protection, the region may fall to their greed and malice. Perhaps it would be wise to hand over rulership of the city to a trustworthy custodian, rather than attempting to fight enemies on two fronts yeah i'm gonna relinquish shangwu there you go 
give up on Shang Wu, focus on the ex expedition. And I gain 20,000 gold. Holy shit. The Lustrian expedition must remain your priority. Someone else would better... Someone else would be better placed to rule over Shang Wu in your absence. There we go. Boom. Oh my god. We got the Empress's Crow Men. Yes, bitch. I'm putting them straight in there. An executioner. I love these little bird boys. They're so cute. of the meteor wind. A change from my scrolls. I'm gonna be taking over all of South America. Another thing that Cathay has is they have these things called caravans, which I'm going to show later. That you just send like trading armies to other places and they can get intercepted. Imperial bureaucracy awaits our command. Ooh, the dragon speed. What I think I should do is I should take over this entire northern section, then leave the dark elves alone, and then go south. Because South is going to have a lot of stuff. Wow, he says all kinds of shit. Time is lacking. Oh my god, Valiant defeat. Alright, we'll build up some shit. This is not a sagacious move. He's like saying random poetry and shit. Which troops would have the best impact? You know what? Fuck it. The celestial command. I'm just gonna siege them. Death by my hand. For the celestial. 
I should be able to win if they try to come out. Immune to trespassing diplomatic penalties? That's interesting. Enables replenishment in foreign territories. What the fuck? These are so good. What the fuck? How long is this for? Like, that's actually so good. Yeah, I win. Royal executioner, eager for battle. Strive for balance in all that you undertake. In unsettled times. You are the glory of the dragons. For Cathay. In orderly fashion, go. An idea falls. The fuck is this? Keepers of Bliss, Slanesh. What the fuck? Why are there just random Slaneshi freaks over here? My siblings have armies, yes, but I pull the strings of the Celestial. Sorcery through me. Fit for a prince. I of the Emperor. It is a burden. Being an executioner, but one I do not shirk. Dragon. Rival power comes to Pali, demanding a change in your mutual hmm. relations. Consider their offer carefully. Marcus Wolfhart wants to be friendly. He could be an ally. He hates the lizard men. I'm not going to pay 3000 though. Also, he's kind of in my way. I want these three, for sure. Plans are afoot. 
End this paltry threat. A dragon stands with you. I might end up killing him if he keeps blocking this entire area. I am too the tool. Keeper of Wuxing. Growth plus 20? Oh my god. Master of the Meteor Wind. Investment in the future. The Keepers of Bliss have been destroyed by Lord Mazdamundi. And this is the big boy. This is like the leader of the Lizardmen. So this is going to be a pretty big war that's about to happen. Sorcery through me. Warriors for the Empire. The Emperor's architect. Let's hope that we can survive. I might have to do like an actual battle when I fight him. I will oversee the supply train. Oh, 
Ogre Kingdoms? Who the fuck is this? Bossy's orders. Is this the ogres over here? What the hell? My imperial parents scrutinize my world. Invisibly. It is fortunate then that I am the most loyal of servants. He really goes on some tangents, huh? This is going to be crazy. I don't know if I can actually fight him or not. Because he's going to be in a city. Zia provides. The great compass shows the way. Okay, good, he left. I of the Emperor. Okay. Or the Celestia. Chosen by the Celestial Dragon. I cannot bend nature. A truly laughable prospect, beyond even miracles. The heavens will provide. Dragon. So much to do. Useful tool in the right hand. Shall we talk over tea? See, now he likes me even more because I'm fighting Mazda Budni. I don't. I don't think I should trade with him, because if I go to war, then people are going to hate me and all that. Normally I would, but I'm going to be going down there. Because if I go to war with him after trading, it's going to make my... Reliability is so bad. A trader from the Ivory Road respectfully begs to barter with you. She has what she claims to be the very first brick laid in the Great Bastion, stolen away early in its construction and only now unearthed. Truly, this is an object of ancient and sacred power. Extort the trader, get some money, and lose his leadership. Or return the brick to the bastion. And he'll get control plus three in local problems. I mean, obviously I'll do that. I don't need money. I'm fucking rich. I wield the celestial wind. Celestial artifacts shall be mine. The Jade Dragon. He has a second army already? Okay, let me start building a second army. The leaves fall sadly down the passage. I think Celestial General would be cool. 
I've never had this leader before. Enables poison attack, that's cool. Shen Ji Lo. Okay. Celestial General. Celestial General. He is my second lord. I'm gonna put a lot of effort into him. Hopefully he won't die. Governor, an executioner. All Cathay will thank us. Oh, he's coming to fight. Let's do it, bitch. Watch him run. Yeah, I'm gonna go fight him, but he's gonna run away. My enemies gather. Though I still have no measure of you. The New World Colonies now. I'm technically a colony over here. I'm going to be destroying all of you. Okay, here we go. Okay, you go forward. Leave nothing behind. And then you go forward. A textbook maneuver. With the dragons. Oh, he didn't run away. And nobody died. Oh my god, this is so good. Death Goodbye. By my hand. That is so good. The heavier the chain, the easier the chain. Now I actually just completely destroy him. Bandits of the Silver Road, peasant archers. I'll give that to this guy. Celestial General. Rest while we can. Wait, I can actually just go fight this right now. What? For Cathy, for our family. Loyal Continue siege. Eager for battle. Leader of men. March with speed. An execution. I think if they come out here, I win. So I'm just gonna continue the siege. A change from my story. This paltry threat. Serve from the front. I would take that to defend my soldiers. I want to see if I can win this. It's just Valiant defeat, so...
Why are my reinforcements coming behind them? Oh, they're coming straight for My us. Place okay. Is at the heart of Cathay, ensuring the Celestial Empire stands. So let us finish them quickly, so I may return to my calling. Positioning is all. Okay, this this is not this is not the battle music that I need right now. Oh yeah, there's the archers. Emperor's Executioner. Here we go. Oh my god, look what he did. Look at how much damage he did to this guy with one ability. Now, transformation of the dragon. They shall face my true form. (laughs) 
Oh my god! He made them fly, what the fuck? They went flying, what the hell was that? That's not the one that I want here. Melee defense and physical resistance. Right here. That's a really good ability, what the fuck? Oh! My reinforcements are here. There we go. I didn't even know this thing has a breath move. Oh, they got a freaking big ass dinosaur. What is that? <laughs> what the? F Holy shit! Oh my, he's destroying so many of them. Oh my god. What is he stuck? <laughs> Fight. Oh god, I'm being shot by like 50 million things. <laughs> Honestly, I think I could do that. I was just not positioned well. I, and my dragon could do so much. I just got a corner camp. So that my archers can freely shoot.
We fight against many. But we know the art of war. Dragons protect us. And we have the might of the dragon. Archers shall start shooting soon. <laughs> we over <laughs> we underestimated them all right <laughs> Emperor's Executioner on this bitch. Ta -ta! Look at how much damage. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Now the dragon comes out. I think I'm gonna do like. He's gonna charge one of these archers. What the fuck happened here? These archers are dying. Okay, we fly over here. How the fuck did these get in here? Barrel stagger on. How the fuck did that get in there? turn into a human again so you could do like a big cast five seconds okay right here Why is my lion not fighting? Whatever, so annoying. Fight these guys! Why are you letting them fight the fucking archer for no reason? Just fight! I feel like half my shit is just not fighting right now.
What is even happening? Like, why? How did this Stegadon get into my back line? That's what I want to know. And did these guys win yet? I think they're winning, right? Celestial General! It's too many. Too many fucking lizards. Look how many fucking lizards are here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, oh. Turn into a dragon, please. Okay. Now just fly away. No, no, don't give up. No, bitch. No. Jesus Christ. Okay, fine. Fine, I will build a bigger army, my god. How dare they. Oh my god, Isabella, why is she here?
It is braver to retreat than die a proud fool. Exactly. It is braver to retreat than die a proud fool. Celestial General. Why am I not able not to move? This oh my god, he's like stuck there and now he can't move. Loyal novices are better than uncertain veterans. All the comforts of waiting. Your death will inspire my troops imminently. <laughs> Why does it do this every fucking campaign? Like, just stop telling me that. And it tells me, like, after I've done it multiple times already. One should keeping our options Can I beat their ass now? The celestial command. Rouse for battle. For the celestial. Leader of men. And execution imminent. Not I'm not gonna bother because I feel like they're just gonna come back and now. fuck me up. Humility in all things.
was the world that they gave the Celestials to me? Was there life? Hmm. Set up my tent. I must confer with my parents. So many dragons. Though it is forbidden to talk of the disappeared. Even now, we learn. Such pleasantries give the lie to rumors of our animosity. Attention! It is my blessing to be the chosen administrator of the Celestial I win now. I don't care about all these peasants. They can all die for all I care. Goodbye. Death by my hand. Goodbye, peasants. Master of the Meteor. Let the world be. <laughs> I literally the let all the peasants die just to win this damn war. The dragon stands with you. Servant of the dragon. And execution. It is okay, break siege. You should be the one that sieges. Just so they can't regenerate anything. This music after I just killed all my peasants is kind of crazy. I must hurry. Forces were created for such triumphs. Such treasures. Spoils of war.
Oh my god, I can't wait for Axe of the Creation to come out. Oh my god. And by come out, I mean the Alpha 2 so I can finally fucking play the game. I feel like that's the future of my life is Axe's of Creation. <laughs> Like, I'm about to spend, like, fucking the next 20 years on that game. I when does it come out? Little, as a mere administrator of my parents' um, land. I, I, we don't know the exact time it's going to come out, but the Alpha 2 will be this year. And the Alpha 2 is when it's going to be always on, so I, I, I can play whenever I feel like. And it's going to constantly be updated and stuff. It's kind of like Early Access. By the end of this year, it should be out. My agents return, and the reports are as dire as I fear. This requires my personal attention. Kill 1,500 enemies in battle. And then Satang the Watcher shall join me. Oh my god, the Dragon's Fang. I want this. Ooh, Executioner. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? A unit with Executioner. Is this just another Executioner ability or something? Like, or is this just a weapon that gives me Executioner as a passive? Okay, anyway. It is degrading to fight you. The less so to kill you. One more turn. I'll fight from the Oh, I can actually do it now. Good. Goodbye. Occupy, it's mine now. This guy will be the army of peasants. General. Damn, we're getting dramatic now. Girl, what? Huh? What happened? Did I miss something? Calligraphy to practice. I'm sorry, lizard men. I love all of you, lizard men, but in this campaign, I must destroy you all.
It's so funny how I went from Love and Deep Space to Ark Survival Evolved to Warhammer 3. Dragon. Like the fuck? So much to do. For the Celestia. We shall annex this. Armor of the Dragon's Gaze. Oh my god. What the fuck? Damage resistance plus 10% for herself? And everything around me has immunity to psychology and leadership plus 4? How the hell did I just get that mega armor? I of the Emperor. There's the Dark Elves. Sorcery through me. Keeper. Of whooshing. All right, so this is gonna be. This is like the border with the dark elves. This fallen gate shit over here. The emperor's architect. Master of the Meteor Winds. General of the Celestial Host. Now I must go this way and then down. I cannot delegate this. My effectiveness could be increased. Sorcery through me. Okay, so I can now... I can make a caravan right now. I can select one of these, and this is how much money I'll make from sending someone there. And I could increase the cargo value to get more money. And certain things can intercept it on the way, and then they'll have to fight to defend themselves.
Caravan encounter, a quicker way. There are numerous, there are rumors of a quicker way through the mountains to ensure the merchandise reaches the markets quicker. But to turn rumor into reality, the guides demand a share of the profits. Agree the profit share and see us to reach the market before arrivals. I guess I could do that. We got minus 40 aversion with the Dark Elves. That's gonna take a while to make them friendly. Morathi. Lord of fear. What? I grow impatient of these constant Oh, we could do a non-aggression a non-aggression pack, that's good. Naturally. Good. Leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. Celestial commands. Tell the soldiers, move. It is unwise to stray. In orderly fashion, go. Base missile di missile damage plus twenty percent. Oh my god! Oh, On everything. Thank us. As you see. Cathay is a very shooty race that has a lot of good shooting units. It's so funny that this music happens to play as I'm entering this horrifying looking place. Such pleasantries give the lie to rumors of our animosity. Hit 
fit for a prince. Governor, an executioner. The Jade Dragon greets you, friend of the court. Really, just because I'm fighting Skagi, they want to be my friend. Even though I'm doing a treaty with their enemy, that's weird. Anyway, I don't think they're going to survive, so I'm not going to do this. Because I feel like the Dark Elves are just going to kill them eventually. I succeeded. Oh my god. What the fuck? Wow. I just got purple armor. No, it's talisman. That's even better. What the fuck? So I have 10% damage resistance, and then I have 12% physical resistance, and then I have 6 melee defense. This guy's gonna be so tanky. A change from my skills. The Emperor's architect. You know, if he gets tanky enough, he could just solo an entire army.
Mission Royale. Such pleasantries give the lie to rumors of our animosity. I'm sorry, colonies, but I'm coming for you next. This is what I need to build for my bonus. is so dramatic how is this a 12 how is there 12 hours of music in this ost right now what the fuck like it's not even a looping thing it's just literally the the whole ost is 12 hours long Scrutinize my work constantly, invisibly. It is fortunate that I am the most loyal of servants. I will not obey. Rouse for battle. Loyal executioner, eager for battle. We shall annex this. I just straight up killed his his actual army. Like, that was his actual, like, main army that I just killed. Master of the Meteor Wind. Dragon. I am too. Eye of the Emperor. Leader of Men.
I must hurry. March for your rations. I will oversee the supply train. Dragon's fang. The dragon stands with you. The Empress Architect. Diplomatic relation plus 25 with humans and high elves. Upkeep minus 30% when in own territory. Campaign movement range plus 30% when in own territory. Bell intensity. I feel like that works on the executioner thing. My effectiveness could be increased. Plus 25 armor for peasant long spearmen, wow. That's gonna be good for this guy. They normally have 15 armor. i 
pointing towards death. In harmony with the room. It is a burden being an executioner. But one I do not shun. In the name of harmony, enter. I need specifically Pandaria OST. <laughs> that's all like other stuff. Even our ancestors needed rest. Downtime is not sacred, but perhaps it should be. Before your execution is ordained. Master of the Meteor Winds. Or the Celestia. Ready the discharge scrolls. We require a balance of force and skill. Governor, an executioner. Fit for a prince. Humility in all things. We're going to start going down now. I think I'm going to send the peasants this way. And then... The dragon down this way. The Emperor's architect.
Our supremacy is assured. Trusted the Daggers. I am sure they plan for us all. Instrument of the Divine. Exercises. I will not have a day wasted. This place is really pretty. I hope one day to see the world as other. All these mountains and jungles and shit. Keeper of Wu Sheng. Sprinting towards danger. Go, brave warriors of Cathay. It is not my place to question the worth of battle, only to ensure your defeat. We are Cathay's true bastion. Standing orders. Execution. Cover tracks with haste. A textbook maneuver. Servant of the dragons. That I would need more effectively. War is coming. Why are there French over here? I just saw some random French bitch walk by. True Knight of Britonia. Ew. Celestial General. Oh, he has a big ass sledgehammer. That's cool. Hmm. I would take that to defend my soldiers. Think again. Battle is nigh. To the front line! Master of the meteor winds. I cannot delegate this.
The Celestial commands. To the boats, brave mortals. Marching to war. Investment in the future. Oh yeah, I definitely need to add units. Because I need as many units as possible. Wait, what the fuck? Empire Captain. Stranger claiming to be a famed adventurer who wishes to join the caravan. So we just have some random em empire guy in my caravan. We are Cathay's true bastion. Leader of men. General. Peasant horsemen, let's go. We're just gonna have all peasants on this army. Instrument of the Divine. Such treasures, spoils of war. We will be the strongest peasant army in the world. Dragon. Serve from the front. He sounds like he's happy because he says, We are the true bastion. Governor. He's basically Executive. saying, like, we're we're the great bastion, not the wall. Have you lost your wits? I of the Emperor. That location seems wise. An execution imminent. First among warriors. Oh. 
Wait, did he really just leave that town? He just wants me to take it for free. I do not want to destroy you. Yet. Oh, they want to eat one of my people. I'm not going to just feed one of my people, so you're going to die. Goodbye. How dare they attack me? Humility in all Excuse me? Valiant defeat. Valiant defeat. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, what are you talking about? This is why I hate recruiting inside of a town. Because he literally just fucked me over. I don't know how my entire like I know they're all weak, they're all like one HP, but come on. <laughs> the main thing that's gonna be annoying are these knights. There is a really good ability this guy has, though. He can improve the defenses of everyone in a circle. So as long as we're next to each other, I think we can hold out this thing. Melee defense and physical resistance plus 20. Like, what the fuck? That's a lot. What's with the terrain here? Why is there just a jungle here? Like, can this just go away, this one place? Just leave some opening here? Oh my god. Like, I want to be here, but this fucking forest is going to block all my archers. Oh my god, I have even more than I thought. What the fuck? I have so many. I'm so mad. These trees are gonna be so annoying. Die fighting for the dragons. For our families. That is to be embraced, not fear. For the celestial and for all Cathay. 
seeking Cathay's foes. Sent by dragons. It is fated. Naturally. Okay, I need to have a bunch of spearmen that are on the left side blocking this bullshit from happening. And then I need a bunch of spearmen blocking any bullshit from coming from the front. See, this is like a circle. Oh, we can summon shit too. That's gonna be real good. Ancestral warriors. people are right now. Where the hell are they? I'm gonna have to go harass them with these. Where the hell are they hiding? What the fuck? Oh, there they are. Oh, I'm getting good damage. What the fuck? Yes, these knights. If these knights can just die, that would be so good. Why is he just standing there? He's just letting me shoot at him for free. What the fuck? Guys, fuck them up, please. Don't run away. Come on. Stop being pussies. Okay, they're losing a bunch of shit. That was really good.
Okay, they're all coming from this side. I did so much damage with just two units over there. Oh god, don't don't be just shooting at me with archers. Come on. Just fight me. Just fight me, you fucking pussy. Oh my god. Just come over here. Look at him just shooting for like a little bitch. Oh my god, there's no way in hell he just fucking went through everything and is ignoring my entire front line. The whole point of these guys over here is to stop the horses from touching my archers. Okay, three, 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 three. Okay, here we go. Defend everyone right now. Come on. All of these archers need to be shooting the same targets. Excuse me, why are these horsemen here again? What the fuck are you talking about? This is so dumb. It's so dumb because, like, the only reason why this even happened in the first place is because my guys were in the city instead of outside of the city. If they were outside of the city, this would have been perfectly fine. They wouldn't be injured like this. Because he sieged my city, which injured my people.
That's why you never leave your people in the city. Because then they just take attrition for no reason. So now I have to go reload that autosave. <sighs> Before the quick save. So I could remove them from the town. My God, Jesus Christ, the loading. Celestial See how strong these people are right now? And they were so low just because I kept them in the town. Move fast, cross river swiftly. My God, I will make a soldier. Out like, I could just build like this. Recruit. I could just build like that and still, like, just not take attrition. And if they don't attack me, then General. I heal up by a lot. Do you see now that I like literally win this fight? It was just crazy. What are they talking about? Pyrrhic victory and then I lose my entire army. What the fuck are they talking about? Oh my god. Do you see that? That's a Pyrrhic victory. Just lose your entire army. I'm pretty sure I could win this. I have more HP than last time. They want the peasants to just die, and I'm not going to let my peasants die. My peasants deserve more. He is- This general here believes in the peasants. Wait, this is a- Are you serious? This is a fucking- This is a fucking- Siege battle? Bitch, I'm going to win this so easy. What are you talking about? Why the fuck- I literally have walls and towers. They have this tiny ass army. What are they going to do? The knights can't even come inside. <laughs> the
They really, really, really think I'm going to lose my entire army in a siege battle. Yeah, like, I, I, okay, okay, some of these walls are broken, but, like, I really think I'm gonna survive this. Like, okay, I'm gonna go to a place that doesn't have archers and put all my archers here. It's gonna take two minutes for my armor to get here. Ooh, give me a second now. Let me kill these fucking archer bitches. I think I'm gonna kill these ones. These ones, these ones over here. My army is here.
half their army's already been weakened like crazy. Good, now he can destroy these freaks. Excuse me, why? Can you explain to me why he's standing still when I told him to kill these crossbowmen? I literally told him to attack. And he just, like, decided to stop. Randomly. That don't make no damn sense to me. Excuse me?
I don't like that he's taking this victory point here. Instead of fighting me. The enemy have captured the city center, Commander. Retake it quickly before the entire settlement falls. Oh my god. That's so annoying. Can I even get there in time? Oh, thank God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Heroic victory, bitch. That's what I'm talking about. Talking about I'm gonna lose my whole army. Shut the fuck up. Don't even know how to freaking strategize at all. My <laughs> resolve is so freaking dumb. Resolve literally just like ignored the walls completely and just threw my army at them. I actually like this uh, melee lord a lot for Cathay. That's actually a new lord that they added. Add three peasant archers or add two ogre bulls. He has a buff for archers, I think. Wow, what the fuck? An execution. The dragon stands with you. Then Celestial General. Humility in all things. 
Keeper of Wu Sheng. Enemy forces who take umbrage to your presence here will oppose you with hostility upon building completion. Does that mean like lizard men are gonna hate me? What did he just say? <laughs> oh god, he's a... Uh... He's gonna try to swarm this area. I feel like I need to build a third. Lord. Dragon blooded. Trained. And she, and she will build. Adorn my chamber in finery. She the will build. Wind shaper. Like Sir, Onyx Chroman. Men, to your exercises. I will not have a day wasted. Oh my god, this cat. Oh, yeah. Governor, an executioner. towards danger. Trust in the dragons. I am sure they plan for us all.
It is mine by blood rights. Worthy addition to my arsenal. Central provinces. Valiant defeat. I'm pretty sure my walls should be regenerated, right? Like, am I doing the battle? No, he's just fighting me. Hmm. should feel no shame in retreat. Oh, thank God. Thank God he's not gonna fight my town right now. And I can actually send UM Bo over there. The celestial host. Oh, now he runs. Men, to your exercises. I will not have a day with you. For honor, not fame. You are Cathay now. Servant of the dragons. It is degrading to fight you. The less so to kill you. Natural authority. To serve me is a privilege. A fine addition to my armor.
<laughs> nice, Garrett. But even my patience is tried. Earn the Emperor's boundless love! Wait, there's French people here down down here? The Bordeaux Errant, oh my goodness. The Jade Dragon. This will stand. For the Celestia. Well, I won't be here for long, so. Passive damage. Crystal of Kunlan. Cooldown 60 seconds. I could put that on her, I guess. Fits my high station. Serve from the front. I'll fight from the front. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Marching to war. Yo, this guy is so cool, I love him. Celestial General. So he has that ability that gives everybody physical resistance and melee defense. And now he has this thing that just being next to people, he increases their melee defense and missile resistance. What the fuck? I would take that to defend my soldiers. Oh, I need this. Not this bitch trying to come and take over my ship.
Lizardmen incursion. The enemy force has begun to muster at this location, preparing to assault your territory. They are still weak. A preemptive attack might catch them unawares. Okay, the lizardmen are mad. addition to my ass, commander of the great city. Fool! Rouse for battle! Royal executioner, eager for battle. Eye of the Emperor. First among warriors. Occupy any passes. Rest while we can. The Jade Dragon's humility is a lesson to us all. Command on guard. Be gone before your execution is over. What now he hates me? Oh my god. Honestly, this is a siege battle. I feel like I can do this, but... That will be tomorrow. Because it's 9 o'clock, I'm going to get off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See ya.